Would you come on? Would you slow down some? You don't have to walk that fast. I'm not walking that fast. You're walking fast enough. We don't have to rush. You don't need to walk so damn slow. Well, we could have left early, earlier. It doesn't we matter. Damn, Reggie, there's a freaking chair right there. Open your eyes. You are not that damn blind. I'm completely blind. What do you mean? Bullshit, that you can blind? see shadows. Is that like I can partially see? Excuse I can't see. Excuse me? Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma'am. Doctor. Uh, Lara. Okay, doctor. I'm sure you earned your degree. You must be Brenda. Wise. Brenda Wise, actually. A pleasure to meet you, Miss Wise. Mrs. Wise. Hi, Reginald. Hello, Dr. Laura. Your perfume smells amazing, as always. Um, how do y'all know each other? Don't worry, Brenda. Reggie and I have only met a few times alone prior to today. In reference to his lack of vision and um, how he can strengthen his other senses, such as smell, touch, taste. His vision? You talking about him being blind? Reggie been blind! I don't understand why he would need to see a therapist about his eyes. You can't help him see again. You're absolutely correct, Brenda. I cannot help him see, but I can still help him with his vision. Every good man maintains his vision. And Reggie is the type of man who never loses sight of his target. I've been here for him as comfort. Especially when he's feeling alone in that darkness he constantly sees. But then again, Reginald has shown me that being blind isn't an obstacle. Not as long as you know where you're going and what you're doing once you get there. 